Hey folks, Ryan K. Scotland here, and I finally have something to show for my ROM hacking exploits. This is of course the amazing Toe Mineral Earl on the Sega Mega Drive, and I am proud to announce that I finally have a fully disassembled version of this game, the entire source code, available for all your editing pleasure. So I am going to demonstrate just one little hack that I have done. This is the first Toejam and Earl ROM hack out there and I think it's quite a good one. Hopefully you guys will agree. Uh, it is here as just a little bit of a showcase that it is possible and some of the cool stuff you can do. Uh, the main reason for it is to really announce that the, the source code is there, it's done, it's disassembled. We can edit the game. It's actually been a lot easier than it was when I initially started, thanks to the awesome emulator called Exodus. This is an emulator that's developed by Nemesis, and he has made just an incredible emulator. Um, it has what is known as a active disassembly function, so whilst you're playing the game, it actually disassembles the source code as you play it. Like it, it reads each instruction. It's it writes out the file. It does analysis on it. It's really cool. It has made disassembling games a piece of cake. Um, now I do do a little bit of work on the game after that. It gives you a, a really raw file, really unlabeled um, assembly code. You need to go in and you need to comment it up to understand parts, separate them out into different files, put in meaningful names, that sort of thing. And so that's what I'm endeavouring to do now. Uh, that is available online and it will soon be publicly available as well. So you will be able to get your hands on it, check it out and hopefully make some cool hacks. To get started however, I thought I would throw one together and here it is for your enjoyment. Okay, so that should instantly give you some clue as to what this hack is going to be all about. The Sega logo quite clearly changed there, it's also changed color. It is lava. I'm going to play Fixed World Game, and straight off you should see some differences in color here. The water is now red. Hmm, how strange. And keen-eyed amongst you might notice that the level markers have changed as well. It's red as well. It's normally blue. And it's, it's a little bit of a side effect of this hack. Oh, the elevator is red as well. <laughs> uh, that's not all that has changed. You also start with different presents now. So the bonus high tops. We now have rocket skates. That is to make life a little bit easier as we travel through this level. Um, so you can see I've also made the spray from the rocket skates red as well. I think a little bit more work, that didn't happen straight off the bat. And there you go. This is the first ROM hack of Toe Jam and Earl. I will stick an IPS patch up so you'll be able to download this and apply it to your ROM. And find out all the goodies. Uh, what happens if you fall in here? Not much. Not much. Or does it? Let's find out by properly falling in the water. Do -do -do -do. And splop! Oop! I'm dead. Alright, let's go again. Go, go, go. Oh, no, deadsies. Uh, okay, let's swim faster. Go, 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 go. Deadsies. Six. And go, 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 go. Nope, dead. 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 So yeah, this is this is kind of like a difficulty hack. Um, it's going to make the game harder because you can pretty much no longer go in water because it is now lava. 
the damage has been increased, so the drowning damage normally took one health, it now takes eight per tick. Uh, clearly I've changed the logo there to say Lava instead of Sega, I've made it orange instead of blue. Uh, I've changed the palette on the water, I've changed the starting presence, so there's quite a few changes there. And this is just to get started. Main fun for me is in creating the source code, making it all pretty and stuff. Uh, the next video will hopefully show that. But for this one, I just want to put a little ROM hack together to show it can be done. And it's been done. So go out there and enjoy. See ya!